Tata Motors is back with the new Safari, their flagship SUV for the Indian market. Built on the same Omega Arc platform that the Harrier is based on, the new Safari is a tad bit longer than the Harrier, offers three rows of seating, and comes with a modern upmarket cabin. A quick walk around the exteriors of the new Tata Safari showcases a more edgy design with a big front grille, chunky tires, large windows all around, great headlights, and a substantial ground clearance. The build looks robust and the vehicle has a very visible sense of presence, even while parked. It is a head turner for sure, and it has that modern futuristic look that we first saw on the Harrier. Sharp, edgy, sleek. The new Safari does sport a few subtle changes to the exterior, including the revised grille design, and then you have the slightly extended body and the characteristic step roof look and rear quarter glass. However, the aura of the Harrier still remains, and that isn't really a bad thing, is it? The quality of seats, a commanding drive presence, steering wheel controls and an easy to reach infotainment system contribute greatly to the in-cabin ergonomics. The top model boasts a panoramic sunroof, adding to the bells and whistles the new Safari is loaded with. With three lines of seating and an option of both a six-seater and a seven-seater, there is enough space to get a large family in the vehicle. The second row of seats have a track allowing them to be moved forward in case the last row needs more leg space. This attention to in-cabin space ensures that the passengers can travel in comfort for extended periods of time. Each row also has enough storage, AC vents, and power outlets to be able to cater to everyone in the vehicle in a convenient manner. From a feature and technology standpoint, there is a definite focus on targeting the next generation of automotive buyers. From connected systems permitting greater control over the vehicle to the introduction of the now mandatory airbags, braking systems, traction control, hill descent and hill hold. These are all inbuilt now to ensure better safety and a higher degree to control over the vehicle. The infotainment system has been armed with voice commands for a variety of functions in addition to navigation, management of vehicle information and settings. The paired JBL sound system with nine speakers in the top model trim adds to the rich features that this vehicle comes with. Tata's IRA connected system is also part of the package. A powerful 170 PS engine with a peak torque output of 350 newton meters ensures that the new Safari has plenty of grunt and power on tap to tame all the different types of terrain thrown at it. Both the 6-speed automatic and 6-speed manual gear transmissions are smooth and refined and they perform effortlessly. The terrain control options along with the city and sport modes enhance the capability of the Tata Safari further. However, the lack of a 4x4 or all-wheel drive option currently is something we're hoping is rectified soon. Along with the Safari, Tata has also unveiled the adventure version of the new Safari and it carries a more rugged look. Finished in a tropical mist color and the cabin inspired by the brown of India's desert, the Safari Adventure Edition does take the style quotient to a new level. This version also gets 18-inch black alloys with a hint of charcoal grey, a piano black finish on the grille, piano black finish on the inside, as well as a clear, darker look to the upholstery. The new Safari has been priced well, with the range starting from 14.69 lakh onwards. Having said that, the Adventure Edition is available from the XZ trim onwards, and that starts at 20.20 lakhs.